Hi hello this is Anup here and in this video uh, we are going to see how to back up Office 365 SharePoint and OneDrive using Veeam Backup this is server 2016 we are going to install all these three components on the server first of all I am going to install the main application that is Veeam Backup for Microsoft 365 the installation process is pretty straightforward Okay, the installation got finished, three services got created as part of the installation. One is not running, it's disabled and uh, the other two are running and it's automatic delete start. Now I will install other two components which is required for the setup, it's restore activities. This is Veeam Explorer for Microsoft Exchange. So this is this is the tool which we use for restoring the mails and all. The installation is straightforward. I will go ahead and install Beam Explorer for SharePoint. Okay, now we have installed all these components as you can see over here there are three components which got installed now okay let me launch Veeam backup there are two options one is PowerShell option the other one is GUI option I'm not a PowerShell person so I will do GUI <laughs> we'll launch Veeam backup for Microsoft 365 and if you have a remote server which you want to connect and which you want to use a backup server we backup server for Microsoft Office 365 you can use the IP of that server or storage and put the port name to enter your credentials over here I am using this server as a backup server itself so I can directly connect to the, this server it's getting launched so now the first step is to add organization office 365 you need to remember that in the server wherever you are running this you need to have an internet connection to connect to office 365 so I need to put my office 365 username and password over here so there are uh, different region options in office 365 backup beam backup solution Germany China US government my tenant is default tenant so I will use the default one and I will put the username and password to connect to my office 365 let's say next we'll check the connectivity if you don't have internet connection it is going to fail you can see the progress progress over here okay it got connected to EWS and now it's trying to connect to Microsoft Graph while we wait for this process to complete let me give you an overview of a folder structure uh, which got created while installing the app Veeam is a folder within program files if, if I open Veeam uh, there are two folders one is backup 365 and the other one is backup and replication backup and replication folder is for explorers so that is for exchange and SharePoint explorers uh, which we installed which I installed and office 365 backup is this folder and you can see various files over here and apart from this uh, if I go to C drive uh, you can see there is a repository already created and it has the XML file it got connected connected to Microsoft graph connected to PowerShell all these marks are successful and we can just click finish now my organization is here in this so let me try to edit it I have an option to edit it okay 
is the option to edit actually so that's fine now we can do a backup of my mailbox and before that probably you can uh, have a look at the backup infrastructure I don't have a backup infrastructure at the moment so because this is my lab server if you have a backup infrastructure you can directly connect to that so as you can see for my uh, lab environment this is my backup repository okay this 365 backup is going to get stored over here in this location so please remember the port numbers there are the specific port numbers the obligation took this port number automatically I didn't configure it so these are the default ports let me create a backup over here let's try Microsoft uh, Beam backup for Office 365 backup timing entire organization and following items there are two options entire organization means all it will back up all the all the organization mails and everything so if, if I want to add add one particular item user or groups or sites then you can use that option let me try to add a particular user okay it is fetching the details so it's fetching the details from uh, user details from uh, office 365 so probably i will select my name nope and select yes all processes and even i can add groups if i have groups it is checking for groups it is again connecting to microsoft 365 and uh, trying out from here also you can uh, do it uh, there is option for, to connect to sharepoint over here personal sites it is fetching the details of sharepoint site uh, to backup i will take a backup of hyphen um, my dot sharepoint dot com and add it and another option is organization let's see how it is going to proceed oh i have selected one user and one particular site and i have options like i can select groups and organizations items to exclude if i want to exclude if i have selected organization and i want to exclude some particular users okay then we can you do that or particular sites we can do that okay I'm not planning to select any exclusion because I have selected only one user and one particular site next so this is the default backup proxy and uh, if you have added additional backup proxy and a repository backup repository you can select those it will list down over here and you can select those okay in my case it's default periodically every five minutes you can do that or daily you can do it there are options like terminate job if it exceeds allowed backup window so if I click on this and click on window you can check it out so or during the business hours probably you can avoid taking backup and overloading okay so this is pretty nice op option oh this is also pretty nice option which is uh, which is useful for demo purpose and all okay testing purpose and all so I'm I'm trying to do this run this job when I click create so that it will start my backup process okay it's queued it's running now let's see how much time it is going to take as you can see if, if you click on the information okay it's okay uh, maybe I don't have any exchange mailbox so this is pretty useful read rate duration and the backup got finished I think with some warnings so SharePoint site got packed up but uh, not the mailbox because it was not able to resolve the mailbox so if I go to backup if I go to backup repository you can see like uh, these are the things it got backed up let me edit this backup job let's try to remove this user and try to add one another user probably that will help it's retrieving the user information we select a user called Suresh let's try that let's try to take a backup I will say run this job when I click save it's running let's wait for some time okay it's processing the mailboxes and OneDrive it seems the backup job got completed job finished 9.4 MB transferred Okay, that's cool so I have one successful job and one warning so warning is because of uh, non-existing mailbox okay so that is it for this video thank you for watching
please subscribe my youtube channel if the videos are useful and click on bell button to get the notification about the new videos bye bye